Peters. I'm uh, the head of design here at DBT. Um, our UX UI design practice, um, it's a way to work very closely with the developers to actually um, help them to create the systems and create great user experiences for the systems they're building. Um, it makes sure that we're not just creating things that are functional, but we're actually creating things that are going to add value and in the ways that people want to interact with things. So doing research, uh, making sure those things are beautiful as well, of course, um, but it doesn't help. It's beautiful and everyone wants to um, work with it, but they can't figure out where the buttons are. So all of that we work with uh, closely with the developers to make sure that we're using the right technical specifications, we're using the right tech stacks, and uh, we understand really what the problem is. So we try and get to that core of the problem and solve that for the client. There are obviously quite a few consulting houses and agencies and different people that do UX and UI design. I believe that what makes us at DBT very different is our culture and our way of interacting with people. I remember on my first day when we had induction, um, Bontley, our head of HR, mentioned that our aim is to be um, South Africa's favorite software provider. And that's always resonated with me and it's always stood out in all my interactions with all DBT staff. People try and make an effort to not just treat you as a number that's going to make money for the company. We really try and invest in our people and I'm now in a position where I can help to make that happen. So we have a mentorship program where our more senior designers help to mentor the more junior designers. So whether they have questions on anything from technical questions like design systems and um, you know how to um, create uh, an affinity map to how to deal with uh, difficult clients or um, briefs that you find confusing. So they're there for that. We also have culture managers. Um, we have a dedicated one for the design practice. Um, she looks after us. So anything from uh, recipes for baking muffins, people love asking her recipes because she's a great cook. Um, helping with timesheets, uh, or even if you have some questions about the company or some frustrations that you need to have aired, um, we make sure that those uh, there are multiple channels for people to interact with and that we can get that information and actually try and make people's experience at DBT a great one. Um, we also really take learning and development very seriously. So uh, I'm very passionate about conferences and I try and give everyone the opportunity to attend conferences and we encourage people to speak at conferences, write blogs, um, create um, content for meetups, all those sorts of things. We also encourage people to do courses, um, study through IDF, through Udemy, whatever it is, and we help to pay for those because it's such an important thing to constantly be involved. Um, DBT also for that reason sponsors conferences and meetups um, like She Can Do, which is a non-profit um, organization that helps to get people into UX because um, we want to be involved in the community and we think that it's so important to help people grow and to really grow that community of designers so that we can be sure that there's a great quality of designers in South Africa. So whether you come to DVT, stay for a few years and then leave again, Designers do that. We understand that there will always be some churn. There will always be people looking for different experiences. But we have a lot of people that go out and then come back because they realize that uh, the way we treat people at DVT is very different from other companies. So uh, from my very biased view, um, I think that uh, we have a very unique way of interacting with people and treating people like they really matter. So my two cents. So my journey at DBT, I started as um, a senior UX UI designer, I started at APSA, working as a lead on um, the international um, section for the mobile banking and it was a really great experience being able to get involved with DBT, getting involved with their clients and really understanding how the practice worked. From there, I was promoted to the practice lead for UX and UI design. So sitting underneath the practice head, um, working closely, closely with him to start understanding, but where can we um, help designers to grow in? What areas um, can we identify that people um, would like some upskilling in? And how, then how can we help to grow that? Also helping out with proposals and coming up with uh, plans and research plans for clients. 
From there, I was lucky enough to be um, promoted to um, head of UX and UI design. So now I'm dealing a lot more with Excel spreadsheets and billing than I ever thought I would. There's a reason I didn't take maths after school um, when I was studying, but um, I'm learning a lot more about the people side of things and really understanding how do we get people to grow to their best abilities and how, making sure that they're at the clients um, where they're getting the opportunities to do exactly what they need to. So if someone starts in a UI role and they become more interested in UX research, we've helped a few people to actually make that transition, whether it's at the same client, where we work with the client to make sure that they start to get those opportunities, or whether it is uh, moving them to a different client where they might have those opportunities. So that's something that I'm very passionate about, is helping to grow and mentor people into those roles. Um, it's also why I love being part of our graduate program. Um, it helps us to, to really grow that next generation of designers. So if I think about our values here at DVT, one of them is make an impact. And I believe that's one of the ones that we definitely um, take to heart. We um, recently had a workshop at a, um, in Darba that we had for the, the management team and we were working through the different values and that's the one that everyone pretty much unanimously rated as the highest one um, of our seven values because I think that's something we really strive to do and really strive to see how we can make that impact in people's lives, in our clients' lives, in our customers' lives um, and to really push that forward. Um, if I think of our other values, um, <laughs> well, uh, work-life balance is definitely one. I think that's one that's a bit difficult uh, nowadays with working from home. But we do definitely still encourage that, um, that people should take that balance and try and make time for their families and try and make time for, you know, going biking or cycling or cooking or whatever it is that you're passionate about. Because you need to have that life outside of work that gives you just a bit of time to recharge and to really... Um, bring your all to work than when you do start working on it. I would look around and I would say that this is not Kansas. I think that I clicked my heels too many times.